From time immemorial, setter has been one of the basic necessities of humankind. This is owing to the fact that every man or woman has aspired to acquire setter in order to live a comfortable life. Due to economic situation, it is difficult for some people to build house of their choice, especially in a metropolitan city like Abuja City. In a view to curtail setter problem in Nigeria and a general public the opportunity mostly the low income henna to be house owner in the next five years, Doma Group has unveiled the Doma Garden City, a city projecting to be the largest city in the sub Sahara Africa in the next five years. Uh, this is Doma Garden City unveiling. This is done for the benefit of humanity, for the glory of God the Father, for God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Our strategic development plan for Doma Garden City, and like I always tell so many clients that call and ask, I say, Look, I'm not building an asset. Excuse me, sir. So, you know that we have unveiled today. There are more on this very document. We will submit a copy to the governor of Nasarawa State. Uh, the day we will go for invitation, official invitation for groundbreaking. We'll give him a copy, and we'll also hand over a copy to uh, uh, Nasarawa State. Uh, Geographic Information Center, which has also approved an office for us in Najis to process your CFOs expressly, and the governor is 100% ready to sign any CFO that comes from Doma Shelter Limited. Doma Group, in its wisdom, has brought out a convenient way of being a house owner with a daily, weekly, and monthly contribution of 500 naira to 15,000 naira to be a partaker in the ongoing Doma Garden City. The company desire to accomplish its dream of piloting the mega city in Nigeria as the instrumental to the unveiling the new managing director and person of barista is Yogene Tio Ajakeya to oversee the mega project. Speaking at the official opening of the master plan of the Doma Garden City project and the new managing director, the chairman of the company, Ambassador Kinsley Azanobi, explained that the company was targeting low-income henna who have been suffering from problem of housing in, uh, in Abuja and his environs. Like we have unveiled now for the city, and uh, we have also unveiled the uh, strategic development master plan for the city. And the strategic development master plan is for five years. So in the next five years, Nigeria should expect a city that has never been imagined. This city will be the cheapest and the most affordable city in Sub-Saharan Africa. The low-income earners are even our major first priority, and uh, that is why we came up with a, a, a payment plan of 500 naira uh, every day, and that is our our blueprint that almost every developer now are trying to take uh, to, to sell, which is good, you know. Allow the, the masses, the those who are are creating the deficit in housing to own this. Because it's all about house. First of all, give them land, a good land, a land that has good infrastructure. They know what to do with it. Give them an affordable design. They know what to do with it. Let it not just be a dream. Let it be a reality. And this is the reality that we have and we are presenting to Nigerian masses. Our first priority is the Nigerian masses. And this, the down trading, is our focus. And we are ready to go on with them. Uh, the inspiration behind this is God. God inspired me to do this. Uh, 2019, he, he dropped this idea into my heart and he said, I want you to move into this region, this place, and do design this. He provided the land, he provided the resources, he provided the men, he provided all the partners that came together to make this a, a reality. Let for me alone is impossible. Even as I, as I stand now, without him, it's impossible. It's God that inspired me. New MD and CEO Barista Esio Gene promised more commitment and result oriented in ongoing project in a speech titled The New Dawn. We expect um, commitment to us from us. We would deliver timely. We will give you accountability for every penny you put in our purse. We will account, we'll be accountable to you. You should expect world class innovation. Now you must understand the fact that Doma Garden City is an initiative. It's never been done before. And so we are running on a platform that the world will look out and be marveled at. 
So I welcome you on board to expect more. We're going to beat your expectations. Like I said, I'm a woman of few words, but we will beat the expectations of the masses. Now you must understand the fact that natural state is bordered by six states in Nigeria. So it's sitting in the heart of, of what I call the gold mine. Now, why we chose Nasara Nasara is that it is strategic to F City. And like the chairman has said, we are building for the masses. And I said in my acceptance speech, the workforce in Abuja comprises of the masses. And so, like I will, I will still again say, expect more. We have the blueprints, we have the master plan, and we are hitting the ground, we are running with it. Doma Garden City, after completion, is expected to accommodate about 420,000 households with befitting modern facilities. Tolu Lope Oludayo, reporting for Newsporter TV.